I'm about to show you the quickest and easiest way that you're able to self-host your NADN, install the MCP server's community node, and then connect to any MCP server that you want. Now there are a ton of different platforms that you can use to host NADN. The reason I'm using Alestio is because it's gonna be really simple for deploying and managing open source software. I'm gonna sign up with a new account, so I'm gonna log out and sign up as a new user. Okay, there we go, we are now activated, so I'm gonna come up here to services and I'm going to add a new service. What we're gonna do is just type in NADN and it's gonna be a really quick one click install basically. I'm gonna just be deploying on Hetzner as a cloud provider. I'm gonna to switch to my region and then you have different options for service plans. Then I went ahead and called this NADN-demo. What you can do here is you can add more volume. So if you wanted to, you could increase the amount of storage and as you can see down here, it's gonna increase your hourly price. I'm not gonna do that, but you do have that option. Here, I'm gonna click create service. We're deploying your service, please wait. And this is basically just gonna take a few minutes to spin up. But what we're gonna do is come down here to our network and this is our actual domain to go to. So if I select all of this and I just click go to this app, it's gonna spin up our NNN environment and because this is the first time we're visiting it, we just have to do the setup. So what's next is we need to install a community node. So if you come down here to your settings and you click on settings, we can go all the way down here to community nodes and now we have to install a community node. So in the description, we have the GitHub repository for this NADN nodes MCP that was made by nerding. But all we have to do is basically just copy this line right here. I'm just gonna copy NADN-nodes-MCP, click on install a community node, put that in there. And so the reason you can only do this on self-hosted is because these nodes are not a native verified node from NADN. So it's just like, you know, we're downloading it from a public source, at least the code, and then we hit install. Package installed, we can now see we have one community node, which is the MCP. Cool, so I'm gonna leave my settings and I'm gonna open up a new workflow. And we're just gonna hit tab to see if we have the actual node. So if I type in MCP, we can see that we have MCP client and we have this little block, which just means that it is part of the community node. So obviously we have the operation, but we haven't set up a credential yet. So now what you're gonna do is go to a different link in the description, which is the GitHub repository for different MCP servers. And we can pretty much connect to any of these, like I said, without having to run any code in our terminal and install some stuff. I think first we'll start off with Airbnb because this one is gonna be free. You don't even have to go get an API key. So you can see here we have a command, which is NPX. And then we have an array of arguments, which is dash Y, this open BNB thing, and then also the ignore robots text. So first of all, I'm just gonna grab the command, which is NPX, copy that. And then we're just gonna paste the command right into there, NPX. So first is the dash Y. Now I'm gonna go back and grab the at open BNB, put a space and then paste it in there. And then I'm gonna put another space and then we're gonna grab this last part, which is the ignore robots TXT. So it's as easy as that. As you can see, there are two tools. The first one is Airbnb search. And then the second one is Airbnb listing details. If you wanna see the full breakdown, I'll put the link to the video in the description. See you guys over there.